Have you ever played a game that blew your mind? One that will stick with you forever? A game about discovery, beauty, life, death. Outer Wilds is that game, and in a lot of ways it's a masterpiece. A sci-fi epic with complete and utter freedom to explore and venture into the great unknown. A mystery that starts small but slowly unravels into a story about the fundamental meaning of the universe itself. It's a game that challenges the very notions of what a game can be and is a triumph because of it. And as many have shouted before in countless videos praising it, it may just be one of the best games ever made. But contrary to popular belief, it isn't. Let's talk about why. I want to start by saying I actually do love Outer Wilds in a lot of ways. Even though it starts a little slow and it's the type of game that's hard to get into for a lot of people, I think if you take it at its own pace and let the narrative slowly unravel, the payoff by the end is massive. For those who haven't played, the game starts with you waking up on a small planet hurtling through the universe. You are a space explorer, and it's your job to venture into the unknown and bring back information to your small little town. In no time though, you discover that not everything is as it seems, because every time you die, you once again wake up at the start of the game, and on the off chance you don't die, Every 22 minutes, the sun goes supernova and explodes, and sends you to the start anyways. So as you loop through the game over and over, you can opt to travel to one of five different planets, each with countless hidden lore and revelations to find. There is no main quest, there are no map markers, simply a completely open world to digest and indulge yourself in. And this is where the genius of Outer Wilds really shines because it's only by slowly uncovering the mysteries of the Naomi ancient alien race and what they were doing on these planets and in this solar system that the puzzle pieces all start to fall into place. Until by the end of the game, a grand conspiracy of epic proportions reveals itself. It's one of the best moments I've had in all of my time gaming, and while it takes a lot of patience to get there, it's really, really worth it. And I think the game's trust of the player figuring it out for themselves is its greatest strength. I can remember tons of super impactful moments in my playthrough, like when I realized that I could wait for the ice to melt on a comet when it passed by the sun in order to get into a secret underground cave network beneath. It's moments like this that show how well designed and thought out Outer Wilds is. With each new piece of lore you uncover about the world and every new area you discover, you are gaining the most important resource in the game, knowledge. It's the same reason I love games like Prey, because the best way to become more powerful is mostly about increasing your understanding of the game itself, not just padding your stats. But Outer Wilds does have a big issue. You see, despite how great the premise, storytelling, and puzzle solving is, the game at its very core is going against everything it set out to do. Let me explain. There was a moment in my first playthrough where I was on the Hourglass Twins, which is one of the locations in the game composed of two planets floating close by one another, where one of the planets is slowly siphoning off sand from the other as the timer counts down. On the Ember Twin, I had stumbled into a massive underground location called the Sunless City, which was leisurely caving in with sand flowing in from the opposing planet, the Ash Twin. The giant cave network eventually opened up into a sprawling room with countless doors, puzzles, and secrets to find. And slowly, one by one, I began to solve each. I discovered a room with a deceased anglerfish by illuminating it with a probe and finding a hidden passageway that led me to a new secret entrance. I found numerous ancient Naomi writings that explained more of what was going on here. But then, I started trying to follow a glowing piece of wire on the ground. And partway through, I stumbled upon a vast hole that was being filled with sand, and across from it, the wire stretched on. But if I tried to get across the opening, I couldn't because the sand would push me down. So instead, I hatched a plan and waited for the sand to fill the hole so I could finally walk across. Lo and behold, it worked. But when I reached the other side, I found out that the path was actually a dead end, and that the wire extended somewhere else entirely that I needed to go explore instead on my next run. And then it hit me. I wasn't really exploring. What I was doing was just searching for the solution to the puzzle piece that a developer had laid out beforehand. 
Whenever I hit a dead end, the answer was to try again and figure out what the developers actually wanted me to do. This wasn't the first time this had happened in my playthrough, but this specific instance finally made me realize the issue with Outer Wilds. For all the amazing lore and mesmerizing unwinding of puzzles, they were all just that. Puzzles that had predetermined and perfect solutions. And it was at that exact moment that I started to look at this game differently. It was less of an amazing journey slowly uncovering the secrets to the stars, and more of a set of annoying puzzles where I had to restart a loop over and over again to finally figure out if some cool idea I had in the first place didn't even work out. You see, that's not a problem in its own right. Lots of games have puzzles that let you solve them and plenty of people enjoy that. Personally, for me, not so much. I usually find them more tedious, but the actual issue in Outer Wilds is that it could have been so much more. The game gives you the freedom to go wherever you want, whenever you want, and figure out the story in any order you see fit. But the freedom of expression stops there, because every time you reach a puzzle, there is a specific answer, and all that freedom is thrown out the door. I'll give you a good example. One of my favorite games of all time, Prey Moon Crash, is also built around a time loop mechanic, just like Outer Wilds. But in Moon Crash, there isn't just a handful of multiple specific endings you can get by doing different things in the game in a very honed way. Rather, to escape the moon base, you must get five different characters off the rock using five different escape methods. The brilliance of Prey comes in though, because this is where the demands stop. How you want to actually achieve that is up entirely to the player. You can bring a mechanic as your first character to unlock a door for another character down the line when the simulation gets harder, or you can save that mechanic for the final escape run when the simulation is extremely difficult, since she has a built-in turret ability that no other character does. This means that the player is the one making their own story. Beating the game doesn't come down to finding a specific string of special items and events that unlocks another special door that requires a secret code you learned about before. Rather, each run of the simulation in Prey Moon Crash is slightly different. In one run, the power may be off randomly in a facility you have been using the power in before, and in another, a usually safe zone may be flooded with monsters. Instead of becoming a puzzle game that you simply beat your head against over and over until you figure out all the answers, Moon Crash actually requires that you think on the fly, and develop such a deep understanding of the game and its mechanics that you can conquer any situation brought before you. Outer Wilds is different though. It's missing what Moon Crash had in spades. Because in Outer Wilds, the gameplay loop is finding a hidden message on a planet that tells you that the whirlpools on Giant's Deep going a certain direction, filling you into the planet's core, while the others simply damage your ship which leads to memorable moments where you can put that into action. But in Prey Moon Crash, you actually get to make those sorts of mechanics yourself, because the game has so many systems full of immaculate design that you get to forge your own story. Making a discovery in Outer Wilds feels good, but it was designed to. You are supposed to realize how each planet works, and once you do, the world is nothing more than a deterministic set of choices. It's just a puzzle, but more importantly, it's their puzzle, the developers, not ours. It's a puzzle that always runs the same way and will always be figured out in the same way, just in a different order. The journey of how we get there is different. And yes, I do think the journey is more important than the destination. That's why I still love Outer Wilds. But when you realize that Outer Wilds is nothing more than one giant pre-made puzzle with a massive abstraction through the use of time, it loses some of its charm. Figuring out that certain events happen at certain times and having to account for that when solving puzzles is neat, but it really isn't that special when you give it a little more thought. It's just another layer on top of an already great puzzle game that yes, does add depth, but it goes against the core tenet of Outer Wilds, freedom. When I discovered that I could wait on that comet for the ice to melt and get into that secret location, it was an impactful moment for sure. But giving it a little more thought, how is that any different than figuring out a puzzle in any other game like say The Witness, where sometimes you have to time a specific movement based on the environment behind you? Thematically it fits perfectly, and conceptually it is great game design, but still, at its core, it's just another puzzle game, but this time with way more impactful music visuals, pacing, and story. I think if Outer Wilds really wanted to take itself to the next step, 
and create the game that it could be, potentially the greatest game ever made, it would need to hone in once again on its founding principle. Because as it stands, I kind of see Outer Wilds like a good book. With each page, each planet you travel to, you uncover more. The mystery in your mind heightens and the tension builds. And through the rising action of its words, the world comes to life as we decipher the meaning of it all. Until we finally get to the climax, or payoff. It's a world expertly designed to capture our hearts and attention. That is hiding a lot, but with each layer you peel back, it gets better and better. But just like a good book, it's stagnant. No matter what we do to the world, it is designed to react accordingly. And if we do something the world doesn't expect, it doesn't react at all. And you see, that is why games are so much more special than books. Imagine if instead of solving puzzles that revolved around simply figuring out what the developers wanted us to do, instead the puzzles were systematic in design, where through the use of new gadgets and game mechanics, we could unravel this same mystery, but on our own terms. For example, you could add a harvester gun that could soak up materials and shoot them out. And by harnessing some of the magma being shot out of Hollow's Lantern, you could then use that to break the ice on the Interloper Comet instead of the only option being to wait for it to pass by the sun. Maybe add a heat mechanic to the spaceship thrusters so that you could do the same thing if you hover over the ice long enough. This would mean that the amazing story and implications could stay the same, but the way the player actually would interact with it would become so much more meaningful. This game would go from a predetermined checklist of puzzles you need to solve and lore you need to understand to a real, true, beautiful game. One that was true to the founding principles of freedom it was made on, and it would give the player not only one of the best narrative, thematic, and visual spectacles of their life, but also one that let them forge their own story, something more powerful than any writer could ever craft. You know, Outer Wilds has an amazing premise, one that caught the gaming world by storm. And it's for good reason too. The game in a lot of ways is a masterpiece, a game that changes how we think and gives us an experience like no other. But for all its triumphs, the main thing it set out to do, at least by my estimation, was missing something. A game about giving the player the freedom to create their own story, instead boiled down to figuring out a predetermined set of puzzles in every instance. A game that reached for the stars and lit the fire in our souls to know what's out there. But also, a game that somehow tricked people into thinking this is as good as it gets. I love Outer Wilds, because it's a game willing to take risks, ask questions, and to trust its own players fully, something we don't often see nowadays. But for future games like this, don't forget that the greatest adventures are the ones we make ourselves. Not the ones we slowly uncover traveling planet to planet, or the ones that were written before the game even shipped. Rather, the ones that only we will remember. That individual sense of choice and complete and utter freedom of forging our own path and making our own story. A journey based on systematic design where our own thoughts spawn our own memories. Outer Wilds is an experience I'll never forget. It's a victory when measured on so many facets, I'm not denying that. But it missed the core of what could have made it truly one of the greatest games of all time. Because is discovery really a discovery if it was planned to be discovered all along the way? That's what movies and television are made for. Games though, games can be so much more. And as always, thanks for watching.